Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on place value. Students have been dealing with numbers since a very early age. However, have we ever stopped to think more deeply regarding the actual structure of one digit, two digit, three digit numbers and so on? Let's look at one digit numbers first. The one digit numbers are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. They are called one digit numbers because you only see a single digit. See that in each case. The structure of these numbers is very simple. Each of them represents a certain number of single units. They're all single units. There are seven single units, eight single units, nine single units. Let's look at the first example. What's the actual meaning of zero? This is the meaning of zero. There are zero marbles in this jar. So there's a jar, there's nothing in there. Zero single units. You could have anything in there. You could have matches, you could have apples, oranges, it doesn't matter. The fact that this jar is empty, it means there are zero single units. That's how you explain the meaning of zero. Example two, there is one apple on the table. There it is, just one apple. One single apple equals one unit. That's what this means. Example three. In this picture we have two bananas. There are two bananas in this picture. Two bananas or two single bananas equals two units equals two ones. So there's one and there's another one. So the two means there are two single units or two ones. That's the meaning of two. We go to the next example. There are three oranges in the bowl. Three single oranges equals three units or three ones. There is a one, there is a one, and there is a one. That's a unit, that's a unit, that's a unit. There are three of them. That's the meaning of three. The same applies for the rest of the single digit numbers. Let's look at two digit numbers. The two digit numbers are 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, right up to 99. Why are they call two digit numbers? Because they have two digits in them, that's all, no more. Let's look at the first example to explain the meaning of two digit numbers. The above picture shows 12 marbles, here they are. What does 12 actually mean? Well 12 means this, when you look at the two single digits, this one here means there is one lot of 10. That's what that one means. The two means that there are two lots of one. This is how we can do it in the form of a diagram. Now watch carefully. I'm going to look at this one lot of 10. See here? There we go. And look at that. There is our one lot of 10. Four, seven, 10. That's our one lot of 10. That's what the one represents. The two represents two single marbles. So 12 equals one lot of 10 and two single marbles. There's your 12, one lot of 10, which is the one, and two single marbles, which is the two. Let's look at the next example. Look at these stars here. Okay, have a close look at them. The picture to the left shows 24 stars. So 24 equals two lots of 10 and four single stars. Two lots of 10 and four single stars. So 24 equals two lots of 10, that's what the two means, and four ones. Okay, let's have a look at in the diagram. Here's one lot of 10, see? And here's the next lot of 10. So how many lots of 10 are there? There are two of them. One lot of 10, another lot of 10, and four single stars. So for the number 12 that we saw on the previous slide, the place value of one, what does the one actually mean? It means one times 10, which is 10. What does the two mean? That is the place value of two, which is that two there. Two times one equals two. So the 1 means 1 times 10, and the 2 means 2 times 1. For the number 24, which we've seen here, 
the place value of 2 equals 2 times 10 which is 20 10 20 and the place value of the 4 equals 4 times 1 equals 4 now we'll move on to the next video shortly or later on and we'll look at three digit numbers there and we'll have a look at what the three digit numbers mean so this video has been a very simple introduction into place value where we've looked at one digit numbers and two digit numbers